What's going on everybody? I'm Jeff Carpenter with Ready Light Media and Next Level Workshops. I'm in my studio today with Emily and we are doing a video talking about the new features of the newest update of Evoto AI. And you might be wondering why I'm in a studio about to shoot uh, when I'm talking about an editing program. And that's because one of the big features they recently added was tethering. So we're gonna kind of test that out, just kind of see how that works, see if it's something I can implement into my workflow. Uh, and then there's another really big update that they added as well. So let's go ahead and jump in here. We've got a, uh, a photo we just took already up. But one of the cool things about this, uh, about this update is the tethering and it tethers with a lot of different brands. So just to test it out, I plugged in this old Panasonic G9, which notoriously doesn't tether with anything, uh, and it actually tethered just fine. So it hooked up right away. It tethers natively into Evoto. So that's really awesome. I love Panasonic, so that's a, a big, big plus for me. Um, you'll notice here in kind of the metadata uh, stuff that my ISO is like 268 million something. It's not really. It's actually ISO 100. I don't know why it says that. So this feature is still in beta, so there's still some stuff to work out, but so far it's working really well um, just as far as the functionality is concerned. Um, so you'll also notice that as I'm taking these photos, I have it copying the settings from the previous image. So I went ahead and did some adjustments, did some editing, and as I take this photo, it's automatically adding those edits in real time. So if you go to here, and I'm actually gonna kind of back and forth here, I changed out the background, I did some skin retouching, I did some eye retouching, just any of the normal retouching stuff that I would do, um, and it's able to just kind of consciously know that and then go ahead and apply those edits with every photo you take. So let's go ahead and take just a few different photos, and I'll show you kind of as it comes in that it's gonna add those features into it and I also purposely told her to wear glasses that add glare because another one of these big features that uh, that just got added was the ability to remove glare from glasses now I typically try and shoot where my lights aren't causing glare in the first place it's just kind of how I do it but let's say you get a shot you really really like it you think it's amazing but there's a little bit of glare and you don't want to spend hours in Photoshop editing that out all we have to do is go over to the uh, portrait retouching panel. We're gonna go down a little bit to glasses glare. We're just gonna slide that up and you'll notice the glare in the glasses completely gone. And if I take another photo from here, it's gonna apply that, that glare removal for the next photo as well. So far, I'm really impressed with this update that Evoto put out. So if you're an Evoto user, definitely download the newest update, try out tethering. Uh, the glasses glare removal is top notch. I haven't tried it with different types of glasses yet, but just from what I can see, it works really, really well. And it's gonna save you a ton of time like everything else that this program does. And the fact that you can copy edits for a photo and it's literally going to implement those edits in real time uh, for your client to see and that's gonna save you a ton of time in the back end. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you wanna see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe and follow Ready Light Media and head over to nextlevelworkshops.com to download a free lighting guide. Big thanks to Emily for helping us out and I'll see you next time.